Is it working? Is it working? There we go. I think it's working. I'll never survive. Hi. Oh, hi. You got some spooky for me, boy. Once away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. Oh, He'll shit. Here we go. He built his ranch and win back the trust of his family. Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man. It's a lie! anything <laughs> this game's actually scary too like I get scared at it you eat babies Disconnected from Xbox Live. That's strange. Oh. Okay. Damn. Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Uh, is that better? Your lordship. Much better, mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street. And oh, Undead Nightmare is sign, fucking awesome. Throw out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly, at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something's uh, going on out there. Damn dogs going crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle Megan, <laughs> Undead monstrosities are John and Abby. You, drinking in the fields. I mean working, as you call it now. Uh, he went in town a few hours ago after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up. After it got shot by those men. Waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Well, that old man can take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You can't psychic ball? Either that or I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking. <laughs> Nightmare sweet stuck at home with your undead well, mom and dad. Food. Who's ready for some Forever food? because they won't die? Me. Oh god. Never being able to I move out. Starving. Or bring a bring a lady home. Or bro. I mean, you never know. Jack might leave. Leave that What'd top left. Just some book about <laughs> the hand, the hand. Yeah. Tell me the about it. It's kind of dumb. Brown. That should suit me just fine. Well, it's all about in ancient times how Aztec warriors worshipped. Oh sun, shit. But during full moons, some of them worshipped. Gone the too moon soon, instead, John Marston. And upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, what it involves is there's this one guy and he goes out in search of his Son of a bitch. He's having a this is a joke. He's like having one of those like 
like love your child moments. That leaves him all alone. So, anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is absolutely disgusting and completely unbelievable. It's getting late. Guess we're not gonna see Uncle till morning. Come on then, Abigail. Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried about Uncle? Sure. But he'll have to wait till morning, just like any other man would in his shoes. Good night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. Indeed, all women are queens. Except for... Uh, all women are queens except for Edgar Ross's wife. Yep, no dinner. Go to bed, boy. You okay, old man? You don't look so good. Get my gun. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Do we get to play as PJ's John Marston in this game? Is that an outfit? current weapon shoot the undead and the no time to beat you up bringing it down uncle once and for all man to man I'm gonna kick your ass uncle how you like that how you like that uncle yeah and you stay down is this how you want it Say good night, friend. Come on, then, partner. Get, get it. Just need a change at the bar. <laughs> Hit me then, God damn it! And damn, it's Uncle, you're taking quite a beating this time around. Now you get, get out of here, Uncle. You get, you you're too damn man, drunk. Friend. Get out, get away from here, Uncle. Me we don't you need your kind around here, going around all drunk. I'll whoop your ass, Uncle. Take this. Damn. For an old man, he sure is spry. That's all I got to say about that. How you doing, Ab? You doing all right? All right. What the fuck? Damn, Uncle. You son of a bitch. After all we did for you. I can't believe I had to kill that poor bastard. I... Well... You okay, darling? You okay? Oh. Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Jack! Get out here! Now! Good Lord, what's happened? Mama? Careful, boy. Mama. Mama! Wow, that went fast. Stay right there, the pair of you. Don't make me no widower now. Jack, Jack, what are you doing, boy? Pull yourself together, Don't make me whoop your ass. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what happened to the dog. Jack ate him. Into you sick, crazy bastards, or what else was done to you, but I'm going to get help. Stay calm. As calm as you can, seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. Probably just a fever. Jack, be kind to your mother. Abigail, teach the boy right from wrong. Both of you, stop biting chunks out of people. I'll be back as soon as I can. I fucking love this dialogue! You need to stop biting chunks out of people! I just beat Resident Evil. I'm good. I'm good. You guys aren't gonna scare me. You get out of here! He wasn't even infected. I just didn't like him. A barrel shotgun. Lasso. Oh, I don't even have my gold pistol. What's going on? Where's my gold pistol? What horse is it calling for me? Nah, nah. Nah, you're okay, but... You're not the war horse. You can get out of here. I don't want you. Get out of here. It's pretty cool though if you uh found a release countdown. Oh shit. Hell yeah. What's it at? There you are. So if your if your horse dies, if you like kill your horse, or if you have like a, a horse or two that die, Come on. you have to. Uh, yeah, but the link the link won't work, unfortunately. I have it to where. Uh, yeah. Can't post links. Uh, you can send it to me in a, a whisper. Send it to me in a whisper on Twitch. Let me let me know when you sent it. Remember when there was an online countdown for when the Olsen twins would turn 18? Uh, I don't want to think about that. That's you know. It did happen though. You're right. You're right. I know how to play Red Dead Redemption. Also, if you couldn't tell. They updated a lot of things for Undead Nightmare. Like it's, it's a better. It, in all honesty, it's a better quality game. We are all going to hell. Also, how much ammo you have in this game makes a huge fucking difference. Like in the other one, it was just like, oh yeah, you can get ammo. You can get ammo from this or that or blah, blah, blah. No, nah, dude. You have to... You have to be ready for, for things here. Sensitivity all the way up. Okay. Auto center off. Good. Just the way I like it. Oh, I do. Look, it does have. <laughs> Change outfits at the safe house. Ammo is currency. For real, dude. It's a huge, huge deal.
Wow. That's, uh, fucked up. It's fucked up. Done? Alright, here, let me, uh, let me check it real quick, and then I'll, uh, I'll post it in chat. As long as you're not sending me a virus. Uh, your countdown to Red Dead Redemption 2. That sounds legit. Six hours, 40 minutes. So like seven hours. Shit. I might have to, uh... I might have to get some sleep. Yeah, for me it says six hours. Does it say differently for you? Are you in, like, UK or something? <clears throat> maybe. Maybe not. I'm at 5.20 p.m. Oh, you're UK? And it says that it's releasing in an hour? Oh, dude, if y'all get it five hours before me, as a streamer, that, uh... That's kind of fucked up. Mr. Marston, sir! Marston! It's me! <laughs> Professor, what are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. Well, I did, but uh, I came back uh, for another round of research, <laughs> and now all hell is quite... And it's really good for y'all. What is going on? Well, well, sir, I'm a man of science, a, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man, and I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. Why that then? <laughs> what, what should we do? I saw you got it well, this morning? Wait, so people are playing it? Band together and find a cure. Or fight to the death trying. Well, that sounds great and all, but, uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I'm not sure that I'm... I'm not well, streamers set their times onto Australia on release dates. Finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the... No, I haven't seen the streams. My study. I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I, I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would oh, like no shit? Your Damn, dude. Your is very impressive, Professor. That sucks. I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. No, no, All that's recommended to you is Red Dead safe, Redemption huh? 2. Uh, Fuck! Wait a sec here. Well, thanks for stopping by my stream. Wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my back. Wait, you should stay with me, Professor. You haven't got a gun. Oh, no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's trying to avoid spoilers. <laughs> uh, uh, I left my stuff with Mr. Nastas. Uh, you remember him, uh, Indian fellow, dumb as bricks, but uh, but a good sort. Okay. Well, meet me in a couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. <sighs> so what? So if I, like, change my, like, PlayStation or whatever to, like, Australian time, would that mean... <laughs> no, it's just that. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm, I'm tripping. Uh, that's kind of mind-blowing to me. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh no, this is ruining the storyline! Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Bought in the time zone store so it wouldn't work. Uh, so like, from now on when I go- Oh shit, he's already up! Yeah, there you go. There you go, buddy. Bolts and shells are a valuable commodity in Undead Night, but there are no shopkeepers, so use ammo that. sparingly as it will come in handy later. Time. time zone stores, so it wouldn't work. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, well, now I know what to do, though. It's your fault. Yeah, it probably is. Now I know what to do in the future. That's fucking retarded, though. Like, part, pardon my insincerity, Hello? but like, why? Why Why is it, why do Australians get the upper hand on a stream? Like, that pisses me off. 
It's okay. Come out. I don't bite. Bad joke. I mean, come out. Become a family, mister. And mine, I fear. I saw my mama rip my daddy's face off and drink his blood. And they were happily married 20 years. I'm sorry. On the right hemisphere. I'm so glad to see my mama. Guess we're on the wrong hemisphere. Your mama was dead? I saw her walk onto the porch. And then boom! She ate my daddy! You weren't... You weren't a bad man, mister. You weren't. Sure, he liked to drink, but, but he weren't bad. And sure, he liked the company of women. Exactly. He bad, mister, he weren't. No one deserves to have their blood drunk. I mean, he knew how to use his fist. And if, if a woman spoke out her place, he reminded her of it and everything. And when my mama was dying, people said that he was lying with her sister. But that weren't true, mister, it weren't. But you said your mother was dead. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't need to know all this, lady. He's been dead a year. And then yesterday, he walked up that street eating dogs. And he loves animals. Yeah. All the dead folk have come back to life, mister. Only they ain't happy. <laughs> A pretty Funny kind of salvation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure. All the dead folk? All the folk buried at the cemetery. Or over by the churchyard. My God. I'm gonna Face go eaten and his blood drink. You wanna come? No, I already seen my mama. I don't need to see any more of my relatives. Here, mister, take this. If you can burn them, maybe you can put their souls to rest. I, uh, mister! You see my uncle Mordecai? Burn him. Burn him real good, you hear? Oh, no, 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 no. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Yeah, um, also, one of the good things about having this torch, there's like, if you like, if you run up to anyone in this game, if you get close and then you like, kind of like, double tap the right trigger, it'll like, do this animation where you like, fucking like, bash them in. That's like, super useful in this game. Oh, okay. Well, I can't do it though. Because I'm an idiot. Oh god. Boom. Like that. Uh, do I need to be searching the corpses? Uh, no, y'all don't, y'all don't have shit on you. Oh, yeah. What you want? What you want? You want some of this? Again! Yeah, really, Buggy? True enough. Shit. I'm attracting so many of them. Fuck. Also, the ability to climb is a fucking godsend. Get out of here. Get out of here. Should I? What, what game? Okay, if they have X's on them. Well, that's because, like, they usually don't have anything. It's not worth it. Oh, shit. Get off me!
it is dark red, you will die. Yeah, there you go. Zombies were screaming like the living. I guess that's true. Uh, 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 ah! Fuck. Might have to use a shotgun for Uncle Mordecai. Listen here, you ugly son of a bitch. I like how it's explaining Deadeye to me while I'm using this torch. The blunderbuss? Yes. Get out of here! You get! Get! Burn the coffins! Burn them! Burn them! Got some weird voodoo shit going on here. You guys are back the fuck up. I need you to back up. Back up. They're like, oh, fire. Magically getting ammo from burning coffins makes sense. Uh, I'll agree there. I like the thought of it. Can't get me, I'm blocking. Ha. And that makes sense. Shit. Oh uh, shit. On the Mordecai. Duber, family man. Put you down. Also, why were there twins in this graveyard? Yes, he's definitely mute. Goodbye, Uncle Mordecai. God, that, Damn you. that music. The one one thing I did like 
is like this one kind of brought it back to the roots of Red Dead Revolver because it's like more like arcade type. I like it. What did I get? Oh, I got a carbine. Oh, yeah. Weapons range depends on the type of weapon. Pistols have shorter ranges than rifles. Rifles are... y y We know that. We, ain't, we know that. Oh, I kind of forgot I had my lasso. I could have just been lassoing all those people. So stabbing them in the head and lighting them on fire. But, you know. This works too. Fuck. You gotta take way more care of your uh, your horses as well. Help a guy out! <laughs> you get off of me, zombie! I like how I just push that zombie over. Burn! Burn, you zombie bitch! be a ladder or something around here. There we go. Me in. No? Something outside then? There we go. Shit. Get out of here, I'm John Mars. Oh shit! Get out of here, zombie scum! Alive? Give him help for their insatiable. Don't they ever get bold? Central and central. I'm gonna go kill him on on foot. Oh god! Oh god! Ah! It's even scarier. Is that a zombie or not? Like, it's that. It, he's marked as red. Oh god! Are you- Wait a second. Is that what's going on here? Is that what's going on? Are the zombies still humans and they're trying to help me? Not gonna lie, I kind of appreciate it. It's gonna be weird killing the last couple of people. Yeah, yeah, it was. It does as a zombie, but they have no body. Well, I mean, I've been playing the Xbox for fucking 17 hours. Yeah, like... 
Why is it saying that there's like... What is going... Look, that's actual... Oh my god. This is the scariest thing I've ever seen! What is this? What is this? If I was John Marston, I'd be fucking crapping my pants right now. Holy shit. Good thing it isn't like 2 a.m. here, dude. I would be fucking tripping. All right, well, I'm sorry. I feel like maybe you weren't entirely dead, but I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Rockstar is uh, is updating their stuff because of uh, the situation. Since Red Dead 2 is out, they're like, "Well, we got to do something with Undead Nightmare." It's Halloween. Let's let's make shit super spooky. God, that's so disturbing. Disturbing. Can I just lasso him then? Like, hey there. He went to sit on the bench. It's okay. It's okay. You're a zombie. That doesn't matter. Does still have to kill him? I don't, I don't know what to do here. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I know what to do. I can, just, like, kick his ass. Yeah, nothing. I'm gonna have to shoot him. I'm gonna have to shoot him. Next time, bring it. God. Next time, bring a gun. That's what he just said to that zombie. Way to go, John Marson. You're like the one-liner god. The walking gloves. It's another person just uh, this week on The Walking Clothes. Uh, the ghost of the Blackwater Massacre! Oh shit, spooky! I don't deal with the supernatural! town is saved, but not for long. It will become overrun by the undead again over time. Spooky go! Fuck me. Sleep in your bed. Save your game. Sleep you'll wake up at 6. Hey, how y'all how you doing? Doing pretty good. How's the living doing? You are y'all all bodies bodiless? Oh God! Oh God! These are the people that I have to trust with my life. Oh God! Okay, I have to have to admit I might have to. Oh my God! No wonder y'all are scared. This is creepy as fuck. Okay. I'm just fantastic. I just saw my daughter get eaten by some creature sent straight from hell. Thanks for asking. I'm kind of sorry I did. Sorry, mister. Forgive my wife. We've suffered terribly. What's going on? Well, it's the government's fault. Ain't it always? Well, they let in too many foreigners. Just shut the goddamn border or things like this happen. My daughter was just <laughs> some satanic demon's lunch because of the goddamn government. So, what's the timeline on this? Wasn't this like over eight years ago? So, eight years ago, 
Donald Trump announced that he was going to run for president, and then, and then pulled out. He immediately pulled out after he announced. It was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run some other time. You know where he got the idea from now. He was sitting there playing. He was like fucking super baked at the top of Trump Tower playing Red Dead 2. And he's like, damn, I've got to get, I've got to get a zombie defense plan going now. We're gonna, we're gonna have to build a wall. A moment. I pay my taxes. <laughs> Simpsons too, I think, yeah. I ain't a wise man, but I have done a little traveling. These creatures ain't like any foreigners I've ever seen. Thanks for the input, cowpoke. Oh, I got flesh-eating monsters feasting on my family, and I'm taking advice about tolerance from a gunslinger. Oh, what in the world did my life come to? And my daddy told me I never should have gotten married. This is all your fault, you, you useless man. Oh, wow. Not now, Toreen. Not this again. <laughs> Your daddy was a, a, a bully and a drunk. Well, you ain't no kind of man! <sighs> Listen. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt your happy reminiscences. Is there anything I can do to help? You got any idea of how we can survive? God, this is such a good game. Creatures, you dumb fool. Ma'am, it's been a real pleasure. Sir, you're a man of great patience. I thought we agreed we should stick together. So what am I doing here? Hey, you one of them, mister? Do I look like one of them? Don't come no closer. We made that mistake before lost True. our number. I ain't one of them, you fool. Well, how do I know? They can't speak. Well, I ain't taking no chances. Kill him, he's one of them. Yeah. No, I ain't. Don't take no chances, Silas. Have it your way, all right? Listen. I ain't coming no closer. You know what's going on? It's the glass eye. The freak with the glass eye. He caused this. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the snake oil man. These poor folks have been drugged. I blame the Mexicans. They haven't been struck down. All right, we heard a lot of stories, mister. Some say it's a moon. Some say it's drugs. Hey, don't come no closer now. Stand back. Apparently, it's worse in New Austin. Must be where it came from. It looks like I'm headed down to New Austin. Did one of you say snake oil? It's the glass eye. I blame the Mexicans. Oh. Connie McTavish, you don't know nothing. You always was an ignorant shrew. I bet your husband's glad he's dead. <gasps> well, at least my husband never took favors from the stargazers, Lucille Billingsgate. You say you're sorry, you hillbilly <clears throat> white trash. Yeah, yeah, now how are we gonna rebuild America like this? Well, see, I thought we had it all decided. We was gonna be kind and gentle and pay homage to our leader. Who happens to be me? Sounds like you folks have this all worked out. Have yourself a fine America. And good luck. We never had that decided. We decided we would hold elections and that I would be leader. You can't even read! Oh shit. Well, I, I got gravity! Well, I mean, gravy. I mean, uh, folk respect me. I am the new king, Archibald Andrews. Me! Now pay huh? <laughs> I just hope I'm seeing you. Oh god. Oh god. It's horrific. Oh, what the fuck? Probably was. It's the glass eye. 
It's a snake oil. It's the Mexicans. Yeah. <laughs> well, they killed her first, so. Blackwater Hotel. I never had a room here. I'll stay here, though. John was just like very loudly inhaling and exhaling. <sighs> yeah. Time to get out all them clothes and all changes in a dead nightmare to make. <laughs> yeah. It's a drizzled snake oil all over the glass eye. No clue. No clue. But either way, I think we're all dead. We're all dead. Uh. Yeah. So I think the Xbox is about to die, because I'm at a black screen. It's playing music, but uh, I think that might have to be it for a while. This thing is not responding.